we're back in Inglewood. First time in a long time to go inside Shoe Palace. Let's go ahead and see what's inside here, you dig? So they got a lot of good stuff here. Here's the Jordan section. Last time we came here, which has been a minute, you guys can see they got a good selection of Jordans at this Shoe Palace. This is the one in Inglewood. Uh, let me know what you guys think are standouts, but of course we're gonna dive in and get a little closer. This Jordan Low, man, I like this colorway. Some people don't. I like the hint of the elephant print on the back and this little lace area. I mean, I, it would have been cool if it was just here, but I mean, I like it either way. 110 on the retail. What do you guys think about this colorway in the comment section below? Definitely fire though. Shoe's been out for a minute, and I guess nobody really cares about this shoe. Let me know what you guys think about this overall though. It's definitely not a bad colorway. I like the colorway of it, 210 on the retail. We got the Jordan 2 tray. What do you guys think about this colorway? All black, got the patent leather, got the translucent blue outsole, that icy blue outsole. Are y'all a fan of these or not? They also got what I call the Bordeaux Lowe's. Haven't really seen these. Well, I've started to see these at more places. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway in the comments below. I like the color combination. And yeah, like I said, they give me the Bordeaux Low vibes. The classic shoe. We talked about the Dub Zero before and the bread colorway. I think this is the bread colorway, right? What do y'all think about this one? Are you guys a fan of Dub Zeros with the laser on there? Got a lot of other third, uh, Jordans up there too. Let me know your thoughts. Then we got these cool gray 11 low IEs, man. A lot of people don't like IEs. I am a fan of them. Don't have any more in my collection. Actually, I do have one. I have the neon green one. Definitely a dope colorway. This one's 185 on a retail copper pass. I wasn't lying, as you see. We only like a few shoes in and we still got more to go. Jordan 3, Corp Purple or Dark Iris, whatever you want to call them. Very dope shoe, 200 on the retail for these. They got the Concord Jordan 5s. Man, they have a great selection of retros here at this one, man. Definitely a shoe store you want, want to check out if you're in the LA area, Inglewood Shoe Palace. I mean, I literally could be here all day. They even still have some Brotherhoods on deck in men's sizes too. Brotherhoods is a shoe that uh, kind of slept on, but you know, you can find them around, I guess, certain places. They do have a Brotherhood here. Ginger 14, Stealth 12s, you got these uh, maroon and gray mids. You slide on over here to the new Zion colorway. This is a colorway I haven't yet to see, but I was definitely curious to see what this looks like in person, bro. That blue is fire, 120 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about these. Much better in person. I think there's one that's all blue suede, right? But I do love this color combination. It definitely is fire. They also have these right here, these Luca colorway. I forgot the name of this one too. Pretty nice, man. What do you guys think about this colorway? Well, of the Zion and the Luca, which one do you guys like more? So then they got these on deck, man. Seeing them in hand and letting them sit for a while. They didn't grow on me. They look okay. Just not a super banger and they didn't sell out. Obviously, they're here too. But let me know what you guys think about these. I know the canvas material is very iffy. I guess the canvas material only works on the Jordan 4s, right? Let me know your thoughts. They got the T-Max down to 69. I think they were normally, what, 130, 140? So 69 bucks for these is actually a pretty good price. What do you guys think about this colorway? White, black, and gray. Kind of basic, but still pretty dope at the same time. I couldn't keep these clean at all. As you see, the display is kind of dirty. These Jordan mids. Let me know your thoughts on these in the comments. Are these pretty dope? Or are they straight trash? Uh, they didn't have them for a bigger size, but they did have them for grade school. What do you guys think about these three? They do have them posted up for the ladies, as well as the denim Jordan 1s, which we have seen these before. And I did pick up a pair for channel member. These are pretty clean, 170. The denim for the girls might work, you know what I'm saying? The orange ones, then we got a few different... Uh, okay, these ones have been kind of chilling too they excelled out i mean they were gone but then you you know every now and then you might see these around there seen these comforts a little while ago and apparently nobody wants them size 11 right there we got the mids and the lows these jordan fives are not too bad either let me know your honest opinion on these did you guys go after them ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts right now from a one to ten i like the color combination i'm not mad man i think it's because 12s is a shoe i'm a really uh, pays the air force ones this what, 40th anniversary or something like that, Air Force One? 120 on the retail, kind of like an off-white upper with a white midsole with the green. I like that green choice. 40th on the back. 82 Air Force One. I didn't notice it before, but they also have a maroon one right next to it too. Of the two colorways, which one do you guys like more? Of the Uno Zoom Freak 3, I do like the blue one a little bit more than the red one. 
But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This one is full retail of 120. And they do have this Griffey. I call it like San Francisco Giants Griffey. The colorways remind me of the San Francisco Giants. 190 on the retail for this one. This location also has some of the LeBron 19 Dornbreakers. 120 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about this one out of all the LeBron 19s. Presto's, 59 bucks, normally 130. Freak 4, Copper Pass. I do own this colorway. I have a full review on my channel. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. But what do you guys think about the Zoom Freak 4? They even have the Dornbecker Blazer still here. Let me know what you guys think about this Blazer. 99 on the retail, Copper Pass. Jackson's in adult size is here, 135. You saw they had the next one behind it, but they also have these on deck. Still got a good selection. They still got some taxis here on deck too. This is a size five and a half. Taxis is dope. I did grab a pair for myself. What do you guys think about these in the comments section below? But as you guys can see, they got a good selection of retros. That's the main thing. A lot of selection of retros, which I think is dope. I like how they got all the Mitchell and Ness jerseys hanging up there. That's pretty fire. But yeah, so we're about to get out of here. Let me know what you guys think is the best find. So I'm here at the mall bright and early because I did hit on a pair of dunks that just recently dropped at the Shoe Palace. Let's go inside Shoe Palace and see what we can come across, you dig? So we left Shoe Palace. I just was kind of in and out because there wasn't much going on there. Just had to, uh, didn't want to show you guys the same thing, but I will show you guys what we got that's new though. Let me know your thoughts on these in the comments below. The uh, Halloween dunks, man. Got that orange with the black swoosh. I wonder how these will go, if people will go crazy for these or not. The orange, black, and white combination is not bad. You got the black stitching right there that adds a little detail to it. They executed these pretty dope, man. So now we got what we came for. We're gonna go ahead and check out Foot Locker really quick and finish line, just to see if there's anything new there that you guys might not have seen or myself, you know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think about these, man. I've definitely seen images of these before. Now they're actually here. They come with extra lacing too. You get white laces, they come with black laces with red tips. 135 on a retail. What do you guys think about these Jordan Mids in the comments below? Cook it, cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it. Cook it, cut it, measure it, measure it, crack. Cook it, cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it. Cook it, cut it, measure it, measure it, crack. That's that crack music, crack. That's crack, young That's all you need, crack. Another colorway. I think we might have seen this colorway before too. The tray, two tray. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. They also had these on display. I don't see them on display out there, but they had them on display right there. This dunk is kind of crazy with the cracked leather. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. 120 on the retail. Maybe nobody wants these. That's why they're here. They had it released earlier and nobody paid attention to these. What do you guys think about these in the comment section below? Hello, how you doing? Hello. So it's pretty chill. I came in here at a good time. There's not many people here, so we can kind of take our time and look around if there's something indeed. Of course, I'll show y'all. There are a lot of red tags, but it's all on things we've seen before. Ultra Boost 149. That's actually not the sales price we're looking for when they're a little bit cheaper. So the New Balance side, they do got some cool little New Balances here. 69 bucks for these. Uh, $90 normally, 574. Got that suede on there. This colorway is not too bad. Let me know what you think about these. Some more New Balances on sale, down to 49 bucks was uh, 110, that's not bad. They also got a couple colorways of the uh, five, five O's that a lot of people like, the red and black, white, and then the black and white, as you can see, as well as the uh, MBO one and the triple white, but this Iridescent Dreams is definitely one of those ones. As you guys have seen, they do have the MBO two circulating on the internet. Let me know what you guys think about the MBO one twos compared to the ones. Are you a more? Which one do you guys like more? Comment down below. Okay, so we do got some Air Force ones now. At the other store we were at, Shoe Palace, they did have this 40 anniversary or whatever this 40 means on the back. I've seen that colorway, but this Air Force one, this green is kind of kind of eye catching a little bit. Green and blue with the white, 120 on the retail. What do you guys think about these Air Force ones in the comments below? Here's the selection of what they got. They do have a few dunks sitting, 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 as well as a few LeBron 19s, Kyrie Infinities. Everything that we've seen before at other stores, just good to see. And 
man it's been like a few weeks two maybe three weeks since these dropped and you can still go around and find the jordan 3 fire reds chilling bro it's right here in hand it's a size 10. let me know what you guys think about these fire reds next to the uh red oreo sixes a lot of dunks or well, two dunks a lot of good shoes here let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Here we go. Jordan 2 Trey once again. Yet another colorway. I'm telling you, they're going to come with a lot of colorway for this shoe to find something for somebody. 155 on the retail for the women. But let me know what you guys think about this colorway in the comment section below. I like this chuck right here for the ladies. This blue is pretty dope. The um, different type of patterns. The satin with the leather. Oh, these is pretty hard, actually. 1 to 10 scale. What do y'all think about these chucks? Pretty fire, though. I'm not going to lie. 700s here the white colorway 220 on the retail as well as the slate easy man a lot of people i don't know mixed feelings on these slates what do you guys think about them in the comment section below not a bad colorway it's crazy because i feel like i have the opposite the all black with the tan stream way back you guys see me one before but let me know what you guys think about either one of these yeezys and it's just crazy what's going on with the whole adidas thing